Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yep, yep. I hope I'm in the right area. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I just seen the last computer that says input required. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced There's to nothing on their screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Take me up. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley More really like been mind monitoring this facility. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He, he couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even Not possible? possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I hope that computer's in here, because if it's not, I don't know where it's going to be. Controls labeled with emotions. No. Happy or I sad don't see it. Or content. All right. Begin the game again. Because it says it's in the office, so I think if we went too far... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It, I literally Stanley only need one more. To to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, come on. Do I have to... Yeah, I'm afraid if I turn them off, it's not going to work anymore. Uh, When in doubt, Google it out. Stanley, terrible, final, input, can't spell. False office. Oh, wait, really? No way. Is it really? I think I know where it's at. Was it that simple? Ugh, I can't get back in. Ready? Aha! Yep, that's how simple it was. Uh oh. Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. <laughs> Just a bunch of buttons to press. Press all the buttons, Stanley. Press all of the buttons. Beautiful. All right, how do we get out of here? Let's see here. So there's one, the short ending, Stanley office. 
close the door. I mean, I do begin again. Anything you have to do inside the heaven ending? From closet ending. Uh, okay. Don't think there's anything else you can do in there. It's just you, you get in there and there's a lot of buttons. So, uh, let's get the whiteboard ending. So for that, walk through the door. Oh wait, actually let's do the map glitch. First room, go through the white window. Already this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. How do we get through the white window? Get me up. Up. Inside the first room, go through the white window. Uh, inside the first room, go to the far left corner of the room, climb on the office chair, then down the desktop. Go to the... Uh, then climb on the desktop, go against the wall, crouch and walk above the desktop, go through the window. So in the far left corner, that's going to be this one. Wait, far left corner. So is that going to be this one? I'm so confused. Because it all depends. If you're looking at it like this, then that's the far left corner. But if you, maybe that's the far left corner. Uh, the office chair to get up to maybe it is this one I wish they just put the the number of the that's the only office chair that's open like that too aha ah come on aha At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Aha! He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why Beautiful. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. 
I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So mm. just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. All right. <laughs> Let's see. So we got... Anything after you? Oh wait, no, that's that one. Escape pod. Crazy ending? Oh, I know that one. That's the one, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. That's the one where he goes crazy. Got that. Okay. Let's go do this escape pod. Then whiteboard. Broken. Maybe suicide. Freedom. And yeah. Uh, so we need to walk through the door, left door, go upstairs, back out as you enter the bosses office all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo when stanley came hey, to a set of thank you for the lurk love he appreciate the it on his left yet okay. there was not a single person here either feeling a wave of disbelief Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he'd coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Boss's office. Stepping in. Wait, what? Did I do it wrong? Back out as you enter the boss's office. I think I broke it. The only way now is down. Yeah, I think I broke it. Try again. Escape pod ending. Back out as you enter the boss's office. Like, back out as in, like, walk backwards? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's see. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming That's to a funny. staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? Oh, I think I did this it wrong. Was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But <laughs> pod ending. All right, escape. Uh, Wait, what? 
Pick one on the left. Okay, go up, enter it slowly, and then quickly step back when they begin to close. All the doors you went through, except for the one, will reopen. Backtrack to the, through them. Door 28 will open. Oh, rip. I did do it right, but I did it wrong. Why is it ringing? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your ship of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. <laughs> Can you verify that this is correct? Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Oh, thanks. I'm assuming the next playthrough then there's going to be a ton of cardboard boxes. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping him coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. So all of these reopen. You are now leaving. Escape pod. Oh man. Wait, so how do you get the... I won't break if you, you can break. Cracking. Wait, could I have just taken the elevator or no? It's not. Apor. Start the game after dying and open door 426. Whiteboard ending. And it's cold. Ah! How much longer? A few more steps. Hey baby, how's it going? What's going on, Helix? How you doing? How's the stream? It's going well. Chilling. How are you? Skate pod launch bay. Um. Oh, there's something. Good. Glad to hear, glad to hear. Okay. Close this out. Nice, nice. Sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, and nothing happened from that. Weird. <laughs> hey, Helix, thank you very much. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? 
Whoa. <laughs> Rate him nine. How you guys doing today? Brought the party. <laughs> Someone was following Thank Stanley. you. He was sure of How you guys doing? If he checked over his shoulder now, he Here would we go, baby. It was only a matter Going on, Bad Angel. What's up, Black Roses? Going on, Johnny Moore? Appreciate it. Hey, Helix, thank you very much for the raid. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. How is everybody today? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. I started the Stanley Parable for the first time. And I'm just going through some of the endings I haven't touched just yet. Not seen this game before. It is something else. Definitely something else. Doing good. Just hanging about. Same here. Same here. Um. I. Okay. So I did. I just did the escape pod ending. Which is kind of weird. Um. I do the hero ending. And then this one. So I think I know how to get to that. So we'll give, go ahead and give that a try. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Basically, a Perhaps lot of doors, and you choose the path. Just to admire it. The narrator tries to tell you which way to uh, go, yes, truly, and then room some rooms he has specific things he says. Business, Other rooms, it's kind of like. Left. It, there's some weird things, but it's it's interesting Stanley for sure. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So. From here, Look, we need Stanley, to jump off. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and <laughs> no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Alright, so we got that one. And then from here it says, restart the game after dying from the elevator. Wait, but it says... Why is it... It goes here. And then it goes to this. Open for door 426. 426. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The elevator. Wait, so why does it lead to that? I'm so confused then. Because this one, it's it, it leads to this hero ending. Jump off the platform. Blah, 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 blah. Then it goes here. And then you get here. Oh. I think you have to open up, open your console and press and type bark. Oh. And I can't open the console because I didn't put console into the game yet. Actually, I could do that real quick because that'll only take about a second or two. Um, all right, so I think it's just properties. Roger, roger. Hey, Johnny Moore, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. And welcome, welcome. All right, set launch options. So it's console. If I can spell. And then if I hit play, should put us back in, and I should be able to use it. Hey, nice. Very good. Arc. Oops. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Ah crap. Now I need to open this back up. Most popular. Complete guy. Hey Johnny, thank you for the host as well. Uh complete ending chart. I get a heaven and press two out of four when I reset it the third time. Never and then it's never over and over again. Did I somehow screw it up? Interesting. Restart the game after dying from the elevator. Oh, the elevator. Okay, so it technically is. 
and open door 426. Open your console and type bark. Memo. Bark. Maybe I have to do it again now since I have console open. Alright. <laughs> Let's give this another try. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Here we go. Here Perhaps we go. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. I mean the door Stanley straight was ahead. So at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. All right, and then now. Look, Stanley, I think. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone Good thinks job, you are very Stanley. powerful. <laughs> Sweet. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Wait. Bark. I'm so confused. Start the game after dying from the elevator and open door 426. 426. Okay, maybe I have to restart it after restarting. Or does it mean restart the All game? All of his were gone. What could it mean? Well, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, so maybe it means actually restart the game. Let's try. Right now, play. Again. Also. Whiteboard. Just make sure I'm doing this correct. So. Do, 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 do. Perhaps a secret room. Bluish. When this occurs, you are able to open 426. Wait, really? You didn't even have to do that at all? It occurs that the game restarts and the office is blue-ish. You are able to open room 426 and that is where the whiteboard ending occurs. Okay. We can try. So the the room, the office has to be blue. There's all the papers. Bluish. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps. No. Not there. Not there. Is that, there's another one that says. I have to open up this again. Most popular. This guy. This guy. Was it SV Cheats 1? SV Cheats 1. Is that is it a space? SV underscore cheats space one. SV underscore cheats space one. 
I'm pressing tilde key. SV underscore cheats one. Enter. Stanley, this is me being serious. In fact, this is my serious room. It's where I come to be serious. That table is the most serious table I could find. I Ooh. looked at many, many tables, hundreds of tables. It's possible I looked at over a thousand tables. I honestly don't know. The specific number isn't as important as the, the very understanding that table. of all tables I looked at, this one is the most serious. I relate this story to impress upon you the extent to which this is the most serious room I have, which is why I brought you here. You just tried to activate server cheats, which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire game. <laughs> You've got no respect for the strict order of scripted narrative events, and I just can't have that. It's time to get serious, Stanley. No jokes, no games. Outside of this room, I might be more tolerant of those things, but now we're in the room. Which is why I'm subjecting you to the most serious punishment I can think of. One hundred billion trillion years standing here in the serious room. Perhaps after that, we can talk about the severity of your actions. 100 billion anything. trillion years. But until then, serious room, go. <gasps> Unless if I do that. But so... How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. I don't know what's considered a blue. Like, is it going to be super obvious? That the hallway is blue, or the blue office usually occurs after you jump off the cargo lift or if you perform the zending office. Hallway office appears. You manually restart it. it is like very, very likely to get the blue office where you get this ending. Okay. That's why it's telling you to do that. So actually, let me go do that oh, one more time. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Try to reset it by when going Stanley through this. Came to a set of two open this was not the correct way to the meeting room, Whew. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Cold. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact Higher. is that the story has been about nothing but you Higher. all this time. There's someone you've been... But in his Oof. eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. <laughs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he... Okay. Aha! Is this it? The hallway office. 426 is right here. Uh, if the hallway appears, if you manually restart, it is very likely that the blue office where you get 
Wait, very likely to get the blue. Oh, okay. So if you restart right now. Ugh. The phone's ringing. But it said you get the hallway office. Only that particularly partially depends on chance. Blue office usually occurs after you jump off the cargo lift or if you perform the zending. Uh, and then oh, then hey. Um, what's the zending? I don't even see it. Crazy ending. Okay, it looks actually really easy, so let's give this a try. Maybe it'll work after we do this ending. Uh, exit at the two doors, pick the one on the right, pass through the employee rounds, get to the car lift, jump off of it. Once it raised, platform below, two colored doors. There's a door, walk through I can't and wait to tell this story this. to my co workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all well, just what? laugh and laugh at the time four I times. everyone had gone missing? Oh, that ending. Four counts of the hell. When Stanley so came things. to a set of two open doors. He entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Oh. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wait, so what is that one called in this one? Pass through, go to the warehouse, get on a car lift, jump off of it onto a raised platform below. Walk through the red door. Oh, I haven't gone through the red door yet. Oh wait, no, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the store... What? Really? What? I was really? in the middle of something. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do what? want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Is that a red door? Okay. Time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... 
Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Open. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? No, wait. Where are you going? If we just stay right here, right in this... Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. <laughs> if you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. No! no. Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Nope. Oh, we can't go back. Stanley? My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? It's going yes, to it's restart, over. isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> okay. Ah. The bluish. When this occurs, what does it look like though? I can't tell. It says bluish. Okay. This is the one where it says it's very likely you'll get it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... Still nothing. Aha! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided we found to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We got it. It's time. Are you ready? Jam, I am ready. I am ready. This is fine. 12 months, Jam. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, dude. 12 months, an entire year. Boy, we did it. Thank you. Holy moly, Jam. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that sub once again. Wow. Thank you, man. 12 months. That's a long time, an entire year to go through all that. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. With all the other people out here that you could have chose, yet you still hung around. Thank you for that whole year. It's been a very fast year, was it? <laughs> oh, this is where you put in bark. Mark. Wait, so after you get here in the game, you type into the console. There's also code in the bottom right saying console greater than bark. Which, if you type into the console, each press of the use key will make a bark sound. Oh, I think it's actually 
a lot less anticlimactic, but let's see. Oh, wait. I'm so confused. Open your console and type bark. I'm doing that. And this thing says... If you type into the console, each press of the use key will make a barking sound. Bark. Amazon just told me something. Your mount for your Oculus Rift was delivered. I got a third mount for my VR headset. I'm looking forward to set up. I got two up here. Set one up back there, somewhere on the wall probably. That way you can get that 360. Should be fun. Oh man. Okay. confused not sure what to do console bark console maybe other way bark bark Okay, doesn't seem to be working for me. All right, so I'm gonna have to get off soon. Not yet, but soon. So what we're gonna do here, since it seems like a good time to do so, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Stanley Parable Easter eggs or something like that. That way we can watch that. And then afterwards, I'll have to hop off. So. I oh, wait was wait board because I for some reason can't get it so six years ago oh god where to go all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room Re holy frame rate the memo Okay. They opened up. They typed bark. That's it. <laughs> that was it. Um Okay. Easter eggs. Let's just see. 20 Easter eggs and references. Oh man. Captain Excellent. He makes pretty good videos. The Stanley Parable might. The Stanley Parable might. I don't know why it doesn't want to load. Just be the funniest game I've ever played. It's also. One of the most unique experiences. Wait, I've I didn't ever have had. subtitles um, on the entire time. I urge you all to try. It's also chock full of Easter eggs. Bro, what, what is going on? And references, and that's what we're going to look at today. Secret should have been on this list. Then the best place to let me know is on Twitter or Instagram. The links to both will be in the description and in my pinned comment. Wait, they changed also, some the... of the Easter eggs in the Stanley Parable involve. So I will leave timestamps in the description. 
let's get started. So up first we'll start with something creepy. The Stanley Parable is a game about being alone, so can anyone explain who this is? They never stopped. Surely what? I was mistaken. So this mystery man is pretty rare, in fact I only saw him once in multiple playthroughs. The theories about his identity range from an alternate reality version of Stanley Stan all the way huh. to the mystery man actually being the narrator. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? This next easter egg references Valve's apparent fear of the number 3. If you head downstairs instead of upstairs to your boss's office, you'll find 4 clocks on a wall. They're all numbered apart from the third clock, which instead has the letter B. P. This is a reference <laughs> to Valve's reluctance to make third entries to their popular games, including Half-Life, Left 4 Dead and Portal. The narrator is what makes the Stanley Parable the fantastic game it is. He's witty, funny, devious, but also caring depending on how you play. One of my favourite moments involving the narrator can be found by taking the right door instead of the left door. Once you get to the lift, if you step on and quickly step off, this will happen. Oh well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming <laughs> out. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 <laughs> I didn't do that one. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. For this next easter egg, you need to take the left door and press the interact button on the picture I do. There's so much more to this game that, like, I would never know. Employee so of the year. So this is apparently one of the developers of the Stanley huh. Parable who perhaps decided he wasn't getting enough credit in real life. Who knows? This next easter egg sums up the game perfectly. After multiple playthroughs, there's a chance that you'll start in the blue room instead of Stanley's normal office. When you're in the blue room, you can find this. He had simply missed a memo. The one that I tried getting a million times and I finally got. But only for one time. So this is known as the whiteboard ending. That's it. There's nothing else to see here. You <laughs> have to start a new playthrough if you want to continue. If the thought of Stanley Parable's multiple paths and different endings fills you with anxiety, then perhaps you might want to just stay in your office. If you close your door at the beginning of the game, this will happen. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. I what tried doing that, decision? but that's when I had Whatever the heaven outcome thing. outcome fell under his responsibility. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go anywhere except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stay Yo, what's going on, living legend? Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, a long video. very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. And then I'll restart. <laughs> As always though, the game will begin again with you in your office. There really is no way out. Or is there? As you're about to enter your boss's office, if you step in and quickly step out, the door to the left of Stanley's office will open. Now according to the signs on the wall, this path leads to an escape pod. After climbing a lot of stairs, and I do mean a lot, you finally come to this door. Which then you gotta keep walking forward. So dark. Yep, you guessed it, you end up back in Stanley's office. <laughs> One of the stranger easter eggs in the Stanley Parable is known as the Heaven Ending. Throughout the game you can find PCs with the word awaiting input on them. You'll need to interact with the PCs in this order, and make sure you restart your game after each one. Yep, that one, that one. 
Stanley in Stanley's office. <laughs> so many. Press the button, Stanley. Moving on from one bright and colourful Easter egg to another one now. Follow the narrator's story all the way until you're supposed to get on the lift. If you wait here long enough, the gates will open, allowing you to backtrack to the first button with the light bulb on it. Press it for this to happen. What the secrets all the way? Disco secrets? Oh my god. <laughs> You go secret. So this next easter egg is a reference to the That's developers funny. of Gary's Mod and Rust. If you type in face punch, not into the console but during gameplay, this will happen. Huh. That's pretty cool. So the game world is now covered in the logo of Face Punch Studios. Speaking of the console, the Stanley Parable is a source engine game. That means we can mm. turn on server cheats. If you access the, the console other day, by hurts typing like SVG cheats man. underscore one, this will it happen. Sucks. Stanley, this is me being serious. In serious fact, this is my serious written the breaking. It's time to get serious why I'm subject to this room. Perhaps after that, serious rule. room. Did we not have the talk? Are we not in the serious room this very moment? Did I not tell you how many tables I looked through? I'm going to be conservative and say it was somewhere in the tens of thousands of tables. Any reasonable person would say I spent an absurd different They how serious I feel. Fulfilled your I generally have trouble reading human emotions, but I'm as well you can you get more serious? Moving on to another easter egg that involves the console now. If you enter the name Raphael into the console, the narrator will only say Stanley's name, albeit in a different pitch and tone. Ah. Stanley. 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 <laughs> Stanley. One of my favourite easter eggs in the Stanley Parable is also a very long one, so if you've seen it already, don't forget to use the timestamps in the description. If you approach this desk in the way that I do, you'll be able to climb on top of it, allowing you to glitch out of the game's map for a window. Okay, we did At that. First, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. That's... Until he heard this narration, think. Uh, what do you th What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long would you <laughs> spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, this next clip had me waiting for a long time. You know those gifts that are on a perfect loop and you keep watching waiting for something to happen? Well, let's just say I waited in this lift for <laughs> a long time. The game makes you think that the lift is moving, but in reality it never does and you just stay on the same floor. That's funny. Yeah. I was in there for like a good three minutes. Three or four so after minutes. a couple of long easter eggs, here's something short and sweet. If you follow the confusion ending, the one with the yellow line, you can find a Dallas mask from the Payday series. Oh really? Huh. 
That's dope. On to what is perhaps the most famous easter egg in the Stanley Parable and that's the two areas that are dedicated to Minecraft and Portal. If you yeah. hop on the lift we stepped off earlier and jump onto the walkway, this will eventually happen. I'm out, I'm out, I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh hey, since my game was so awful, seems like it'll absolutely nothing things for you. Hmm. Beat. Perfect. And it Oh my, utterly glass <laughs> And then the portal one. And I highly don't need your advice. If you play a mini game where you have to save a baby by pressing a button. The narrator mentions that the message of the game only becomes clear after playing for four hours, but I don't have the time for that, so I use console commands to skip to the end of the baby saving game. And this is what happens. Nearly there, Stanley. Art itself is about to burrow into your skull. Aren't you excited for spiritual I think immortality? I heard about for transcendence four. and oneness with the beauty and essence of all beings? Just a few seconds now. Me for all eternity, oh God. So if I'd played four hours just for that ending, I would have been pretty pissed. So that's it. That's 20 Easter egg secrets or references in the Stanley Parable. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. I predict that this will be quite... Uh, I think that's the big ones, which is cool. Alright, well, right here is actually a perfect point for me to stop a little bit earlier than usual, but...